guys! Welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. We're getting bored in the house, so we decided to try something new. So we picked up a tie-dye kit at Walmart, and it was supposed to be around $21 is what we thought it was going to ring up, but it rang up around $10. And this kit comes with, it's a 10 color super pack, and it comes with some rubber bands, um, a tie-dye project guide, some gloves, let me flip it over. So it comes with 10 different colors. And then we also picked up a trial size kit that was around $4. And it came with a lighter shade of pink, a hot pink, and a purple. And also we picked up some t-shirts in the men's section for $3.88. And so this will be our first time tie-dyeing. So we're gonna take you along with us. When you open it up, it has some suggestions for you. You can do the swirl method, the crumple method, or the bullseye, and it tells you how to mix it up and everything. You just have to add water up to the top of the bottle and then shake it. But first we've got to add our rubber bands. So I'm going to try doing, I think I'm gonna try the swirl. Now I watched someone on Instagram do the swirl method and they used a fork, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we'll see. So I guess I'm gonna kind of gather it up and just spin the t-shirt to a little ball. Maybe as tight as I can get it. So I'll just use my hands now to kind of keep wrapping. Okay, now I'll we'll try to get some rubber bands around this. Okay, I got one. It's hard for me to hold. I think that goes this way around, I don't know. It's harder than you think. more. I had some smaller size rubber bands too. So this is how mine looks. I added one more purple rubber band. Next I'm going to try the crumple method and it says just to take your fingers and walk it up the t-shirt. So this is kind of like how when I make some wreaths, how I walk my fingers up the deco mesh. So just walk your fingers up the t-shirt. Now we've never tried this, so we're just hoping it turns out. Okay, so now I've got it gathered and I'm just going to stick some rubber bands on it. Twist it, don't you? Okay, let's do the other side. Let's see what we can come up with. This is the way the one I did with the crumple method looks. So I just added several rubber bands and I kind of pulled it together in the center. The three t-shirts on the left are my daughter's and these three are mine. And we bought these pans at Dollar Tree. And now we're going to go outside. We brought out a pitcher of water and she's just going to fill the bottle up to the top. And then put the lid back on and shake it up. And I've got to run back in and get our gloves because I forgot to bring our gloves outside. We decided to only mix up 
six colors because it says that you need to go ahead and use it within 24 hours after being mixed. So we're just starting with six colors and then I went in and got our gloves and we picked up these large pans at Dollar Tree. You will want to shake up your bottle really good before you start adding it to your shirt and make sure you're wearing some old clothes and these Dollar Tree pans work out nice and so she's just covering the shirt with the color dyes that she likes and we don't know what her method is called we're not sure so if you know let us know but she just added a bunch of rubber bands and it turns out super cute in the end and she used one full bottle of yellow and one full bottle of hot pink on this shirt and make sure you do the front side and the back side We let our t-shirt set overnight in their little Walmart sacks all tied up and my daughter just cut the rubber bands off of hers and this was a pink t-shirt and look how pretty it turned out. Now we've got to rinse them with water until the water runs clear and then we're going to wash them in the washing machine and dry them. And here's the white t-shirt that I did first. We just took the rubber bands off of it and this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really good. Here's my daughter's three t-shirts that she did. Then over here is my three. And they all turned out really good. So now the fun part, we've got to get the water hose out and rinse them. Just remember, you're supposed to 
wash the shirts separately the first four or five times after wearing them. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and share.